They naturally make excuses for that God. When people walk in the dark, they naturally turn to religion. Yes, when Jesus is good. When people walk in the dark, how are they going to know the truth? Jesus Christ is the light of the world. Whoever has that light should not abide in darkness. But he said, have that light, which is Jesus Christ. Many people say, is Jesus Christ the Holy Spirit? Yes. He is. You see, Nicodemus came up to Jesus. Oh, let's stop. Wait a minute. Jesus said, before he went to the cross, I will not leave you as orphans, I will come to you again. I will send a comforter who is the Holy Spirit. That's right. And if you believe in Jesus Christ and receive Jesus Christ as Saviour and believe from your heart and confess from your mouth, you shall receive the gift of the Holy Spirit. That's right. Nicodemus was a, a righteous man, a religious man, a knowledgeable man. He thought he knew everything, just like religious people do today. Hallelujah. But there's one thing he didn't know, and that is that he needs to be born again. <coughs> oh, yes. And you've got to be born again. You may say, I believe in the Lord Jesus Christ, while well, I believe in the Queen. But you've got to receive Jesus Christ as Lord and Saviour. That's right. You may say that I was born as a Christian. No, you wasn't born as a Christian. You may say that, well, I'm of a Christian family, that may, that therefore it makes me a Christian. No, it doesn't make you a Christian. You may say, well, I read my Bible from back to front. You may say that I'm a good person. You may say I've never been wrong. Well, that's not going to get you right with God. It's not going to get you an entrance into heaven. Hallelujah. You may say I'm a good person. That's going to get me into heaven. It's like walking up to a mansion, the owner of the mountain, open the door and say, let me in. I'm not going to let you in. Do you think God's going to let you walk into heaven just because you're going to say to God that you're a good person? Jesus said unto him today, salvation has come to this house. Is salvation coming to your house today? Yes, Jesus. Luke 19, 9 and 10. Jesus said to him, Today salvation has come to this house, since he also is a son of Abraham, for the Son of Man came to seek and to save the lost. Today salvation has come to this house. Has salvation come to your house? What I mean is, not bricks and mortar, but I'm talking to your soul, your body, your house, your tent that you dwell in. Has salvation come? 